Paul, I, I just want to jump right into maybe the craziest thing from yesterday. Melania Trump. Yeah, and you had to start there. It, yeah, it, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it still boggles the mind. Jamie, do you have that first clip where she came out and this is her big speech, right? She hasn't given one since the convention. Declaring her first lady agenda. Yep. Because every every first lady or first man in Bill Clinton yeah. will have an agenda. Correct. Uh, here's what Melania Trump says. We must come together as Americans. We must treat each other with respect and kindness, even when we disagree. Uh, I don't know if you can watch us on the video stream, but I am vomiting everywhere after hearing that clip. There, There is a, a kind of jaw-dropping moment when we were watching this thing live. We're like, wait. Did she just say that her major campaign issue, that is her major sort of, you know, uh, uh, first lady initiative is going to be battling uh, online bullying, particularly yeah. in social media? Yeah. And she said, you know, people are mean on social media. And she's like, this, this, this is a mockumentary, right? It's, it's, yeah, it's right. one of those kind of <laughs> broad, ironic social commentary <laughs> moments. Like, she's kidding. Yeah. Like, clearly, she's kidding. In her speech at the convention, she plagiarized Michelle Obama's speech. If she had come out yesterday and given another Michelle Obama speech, like verbatim, that would have been less weird than this. That is correct. That yeah. would have been less weird than this. I pulled up a bunch of Donald Trump tweets, right? All the I, ki kindness and respect that she talks about. Uh, truly weird Senator Rand Paul reminds me of a spoiled brat without a properly functioning brain. That's that respect and kindness uh, she must be talking about. Uh, he retweeted, if Hillary Clinton can't satisfy her husband, what makes her think she can satisfy America? Very, very kind. I, but, you know, this is, you know, McDonald's has a health food campaign, right? I mean, it's all the same. <laughs> and and, and Coca-Cola now serves its death juice in a smaller bottle, yes. right? <laughs> it's like, yes. okay, you know, America has gotten used to the notion that it's opposite land, right? You know, the guy who's been selling you uh, toxic hamburgers uh, from a clown's mouth for the past 50 years is going to suddenly make carrot sticks. That okay. is, that is perfect. I mean, that is what we're dealing with That's here. That's what we're dealing with. Does anything matter, Paul? I mean, does, I mean, like, I, I, I guess what I'm getting at here is how do you, or how does one report on that? Or how does one address the fact that she just put that out there, which is a noble cause. Uh, she's right. She's right about everything that she said. Right. Uh, it's, you know. How do you say, okay, that's a very good, Well, and, and also that's your, it, they, you're married to the, a crazy person. For, from a journalist perspective, there is this really odd moment where you want to say, okay, we, we have to write a story about what Melania Trump has said as her agenda, which is, as you said, a, a valid and interesting agenda, and online bullying is a real thing. Um, uh, part of it has actually been uh, uh, encouraged by Donald Trump, but that's a whole different thing, right? So we want to talk about Melania Trump. We have to at least, yeah. You know, at one point we had the story up uh, on, our, on our website for a little while, um, and we looked at the story again, like, hold it. We forgot to mention in the middle of the story, Donald Trump has regularly berated people and used hostile and angry language on Twitter, you know, and other social and in public, which is just fact, right? We have to include that fact. Yeah. But as a reporter, you can't sort of write in the story, hey, did anybody notice how completely ironic this whole thing is? Um, so, but then somewhere in the blogosphere, we put up another story that was just sort of a collection of tweets of mm -hmm. people pointing out that this was wildly ironic. Yeah. Um, but it's hard for a reporter because, you know, I think we can't just say, people, this is redunculous. I, we, it just, this is, I, this, this, I, I'm not a reporter. This is, how my, this is how my piece would be. Melania Trump gave a speech where she thinks that more people should practice respect and kindness. Look, look at what her husband said. Right. Just look. And that's my piece. Right. And, and, and perhaps we should have just said, you know, that first line, you know, Melania Trump, you know, kindness, blah, blah, blah period. Come on, man. Yeah. Period. Right? And then we would have been done. 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 Yeah, that's it. Get out Come of it. Come on, man. But <laughs> but there's it. this I, I irony does not translate well in journalism. Uh, and and again, we're trying to also be fair and reflect the fact that she's talking about a serious topic yeah. uh, that matters to a lot of people, and she's got a real point. Um, but but you almost it, it would have made more sense, honestly. And there's no way she could have done this if she could have said, "I understand. My husband has been contributing to this." And we've had a conversation, and we're both going to get past it, right? That would Come have been a meaningful on, moment. Come on, man! That's what we need. Yeah. No, you're right. That that would have been interesting, but that's just not something that yeah that is able to, to no. that they're able to. Do.